Hey learners, Jared here, and I have the capability to make things disappear. Harry Potter can do it, Bilbo can do it, Frodo can do it, here's how you can do it. You get Pyrex and vegetable oil. Take your two beakers, set them inside each other, add your invisibility cloak slash vegetable oil, and watch the beakers disappear. How does this happen? The beaker disappears inside the other beaker when I add the vegetable oil. Pyrex and vegetable oil have a similar index of refraction. That is, they bend the light the same way. Okay, so here we have our two beakers with a laser beam passing through, but without the invisibility cloak inside. And so you can see the beam impacts over here, and then it exits over here, but there's all this jumble in between. When I add our invisibility cloak, watch what happens to the beam. Now besides the impact of bubbles, which look really cool, the beam is allowed to just travel straight through to the other side, which is why when you look at this setup, you can look straight through and not see anything. Light isn't scattering in between the layers anymore because the index of refraction is the same from this side of the beaker to this side of the beaker. How light bends in a material depends upon the index of refraction. Higher indices of refraction will bend the light more inside the material. And you can see the bending of light here inside the water. The water travels through the beaker and is hitting a cork on the other side. When I remove the cork, the light stays inside the water, trapped because of the reflection and bending of the light. Light bends in material and it also bends in air very slightly. When you are seeing a sunrise, you are seeing the sunrise before the sun has actually risen. The sun is not where you are seeing it. It is below that point, but the light has bent to your eye. So how does Harry or Frodo or Bilbo become invisible? Well, Harry Potter is a wizard. So Bilbo and Frodo, when they put on the ring, they actually cast a shadow if you read the book. So they are still interacting with light in some way but are still allowing the light to pass through them to your eye. The best case for invisibility that I've seen is Mission Impossible 4 Ghost Protocol. In that, they project an image of what the guy would have seen if they weren't there. And this program is like tracking his eyes and it's constantly projecting that image to his eyes from what he would see that's behind them. So to become invisible as in put on a cloak and actually allow the light to bend through you, you could Pyrex method it and just adapt the index of refraction of what's around you, but that would mean you'd have to become air, ill-advised. Best method would be to project the image of what's behind you, in front of you, but that could get tricky if you have more than one person, which you can see in Ghost Protocol. So how do you become invisible? Become a wizard? Find the ring of power? Or become super tech savvy with some great cameras? As always, keep learning.